Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of exponential equations, we will be solving one interesting equation where we will find out the three solutions. So I am going to demonstrate three methods. First one is using log, second one is using exponent, third one is using LWF lemma W function, fourth one is using newton ramson and intermediate value theorem to find out other root solutions. So let's get started by writing our method number one that is using log. Okay, let me take ln natural log both sides. So I will write ln 49 power x that would be ln x power 14. Now we know that the standard property of log and very very powerful that is b ln a. So I will write here x ln 49 equal to 14 ln x. Collect all the terms which are having x one side. So I will collect ln x over x and I will write in the right hand side 49 over 14. Now 49 can be written as 7 square. So I will write like this. Again same property I will use. This will come down. So 2 ln 7 over 14. I will cancel these two. So ultimately I am having ln 7 over 7. Let me write here once ln x over x equal to ln 7 over 7. Now by comparing both sides I can conclude x is 7 using ln log. Okay. Let's take second method. This one is very very simple. Let me write here using exponents and its properties. Okay. How I will write? I will write x power 14 equal to 49 power x. Take both sides power 1 over x or xth root. So I will write like this. As you can see x is not 0. Let me show you if x is 0 then LHS is 1 and RHS is 0. So it is not equal. That means x is not solution of this equation. So we can divide. We can divide means division in the context of x is in denominator. Once x is 0 then that would be infinity. So that is not provide us convergence. Okay. So from this LHS we will write x power 14 whole power 1 over x. From RHS we can write 14 power x into 1 by x by the very popular property of exponent that is a power bc or if it is useful then we will write and yes it is useful in the LHS. So I am going to swap by this third relationship. So I will write here x power 1 over x whole power 14 equal to 49. Now again same task I will do that is I will raise both sides power 1 over 14. Now see what will happen. A power B whole power C again same property I will use this one. I can write LHS as X power 1 over X. RHS would be 49 power 1 over 14. Now I will write this 49 as 7 square whole power 1 over 14. Now by the property, the same property written over there. I will write 2 times 1 over 14. So it will become 7 power 1 over 7. Okay. Now I will write x power 1 over x is 7 power 1 over 7. Simply compare both sides. You will write x is equal to 7 is my solution. Done. Method number 3. Using lemma w function. Okay. I will consider the ln equation ln 49 
over 14 equal to ln x over x. Okay. Now I will use exponent property which is again very very powerful in the context of exponential equation problem solving x is equal to e raised to the power ln x. Okay. So here I am going to write. So it will become let me take ln term to the left. So ln x that denominator x I will take up. So it would be negative equal to ln 49. So shall we write same same way 2 ln 7 over 14. So I can write ln 7 over 7. Up to this point there is no any concern. Now what is missing see for the standard form what I know let me write here. It is called log product form or product log form. x times e raised to the power x. If we are getting somewhere equation like this, then once we will take lambda w of this function, then we'll have answer x. What is x? The exponent and the multiplier. It should be same. It should be matching. Right now it is not matching. You can see here it is only ln x. And here it is minus ln x. So I will multiply both sides with negative sign. After multiplying, we'll have now matching terms. See, here it is same. Let us take lambda w both sides. Now LHS would be ln x minus ln x. And RHS would be lambda w function of minus ln 7 over 7. Okay, now again same property I will write. 7 I can write in the form of e raised to the power ln 7. So in next step I would write minus ln 7. That e term I will take up. So it will become minus ln 7 times ln 7. You can see this is matching with the standard form. I will write here minus ln 7 times e raised to the power minus ln 7. Once I will take lambda w function of this, see it is matching, so I will write minus ln 7 minus ln x. Comparing both sides, I will get x equal to 7. Up to this point, there is no concern. Now let me consider the fourth method which will provide you the complete solution. What I am trying to do here, let me consider fx equal to 49 power x minus x power 14. Let me show you few values. f of 0, 49 power 0 minus 0 power 14, value is 1, positive. Okay. Now let me write f of negative 1. Okay. Negative 1 if you will write then I will write 1 over 14 and power is minus 1. Minus 1 so I will write 1 because power is even. Check this value is negative. One important noticeable point. One solution is there. One solution is there in between 0 and negative 1 or negative 1 comma 0. This is confirmed. Second point. See, the story is not here completing. See, I am calculating f of 1 also. f of 1, then 49 minus 1, 48, which is positive. This part is more interesting. f of 2, if you will check, then 49 power 2 minus 2 power 14. Okay, let me find this value. I have calculated 2401 this one, and it is 16,000. 384. Check it is negative. Then in between 1 and 2, because of sign change is there, in between 1 and 2, we'll have one more solution. So, second solution in between 1 and 2. Okay. Now we know that this theorem is called intermediate value theorem 
value theorem okay now i will use newton ramson method and that method states that straight away after three or four iteration we can find out our accurate answer we are averaging the solution so f dash x n once i will apply base value for this collection 0 and minus 1 once we are applying base value 0 then i will be having root x after three iteration the root or solution is coming out minus 0 0.8 and second solution in between 1 and 2 for consider consider base over there x equal to 1 so you will be you can consider 2 also it is up to and x is equal to 1.53 now last thing i want to show you that is very very interesting see it is parabola opening upward if you will check the end behavior you will get to know about the things let me show you see one one thing is clear because our parabolic curve is flattened at the origin okay done this part is clear see this point is minus 0 0.8 now second thing is it is going to intersect like this see this point is let me change this color so that you can see this point is two intersection point this is your x power 14 and this is 49 power x it is like that it, it won't come inside towards y axis it will be like that okay this point is 1.53 the second intersection is 7. This LHS is negative 0 0.8. Okay. There are three solutions. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck.